organization of the Luftwaffe 1933-1945, partly due to its ground support role. The Luftwaffe was reorganized in a fashion similar to the army units, with one unit controlling a specific area. Erperbungs were up a specialized group, much like the similar Erperbungs commando units, for field testing new models and on occasions captured Allied aircraft with the ERP and ECTO units using a number matching the RL and airframe number of the aircraft design they were meant to test. Each group comprised three or four staffel, but by late 1944 a fourth staffel was usually added to fighter units, making the established strength of the unit approximately 65 to 70 aircraft, although during the war years operational strength tended to fluctuate greatly. The number of ground staff varied depending on its type, with about 150 for a fighter unit and 80 in a bomber unit a smaller number of personnel were required in the bomber units as many of the servicing functions were carried out by attached units provided by the local Luftgo or Air District. The service test units often known as Erperbungskommando could also be of staffel or group organizational size as well as existing outside of any such set unit size as a group or staffel, the Heinkel, he 177, was service tested by a staffel sized unit, known as Erperbung Staffel 177, frequently using the RL and airframe type number for the number of the unit testing the aircraft bearing it. Although intended to act as a single unit, the divisions were separated and served with Army or with Fallschirmjager units. Units in various areas used their own way of painting the aircraft excepting the Jeschwader Kanung alphanumeric unit identifiers. The unofficial way to represent one's unit was the unit badge. 87,240 only 3A67.